Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm Anthony Danz and welcome back to the uh, five minute Facebook ministry. We're coming out of Jeremiah 9, chapter, I'm sorry, Jeremiah 9, verse 23 and 24. This is what the Lord says. Let not the wise boast of their wisdom, or the strong boast of their strength, or the rich boast of their riches. But let the one who boasts, boast about this, that they have the understanding to know me, that I am the Lord who exercises, who exercises kindness, justice, and righteousness on earth. For in these I delight, declares the Lord. Again, this is what the Lord says. Let not the wise boast of their wisdom, or the strong boast of their strength, or the rich boast of their riches. But let the one who boasts boast about this, that they have the understanding to know me, that I am the Lord who exercises kindness, justice, and righteousness on earth. For in these I delight, declares the Lord. This is a powerful scripture. And this is out of the Old Testament, out of the book of Jeremiah. And what, it, what this chapter is telling us is that you know, we can't boast of things that we have. We can't boast of our wisdom, of our strength, of our riches. Okay? Because everything that we have is because of God. Regardless of whether you're saved or not, the fact that you have wisdom, strength, riches, is because God allows you to. And God has made it so that we can have things. Just because you know how to maneuver in the world and be successful in the world doesn't mean that you are truly blessed. We always hear stories of rich people who are committing suicides and doing crazy things and going crazy and that you're like, wow, how could they have problems? Well, we can't boast of ourselves. We as mere human beings, we don't have alone the ability to do everything well and handle everything that's going on around us all the time. Okay. But if we're going to boast, let's boast about our understanding we have in Jesus Christ, our relationship with Jesus Christ. And it says, who exercises kindness, justice, and righteousness on earth. For that is what the Lord delights in. Kindness, justice, and righteousness on earth. So if we're going to boast of anything, let's boast of the Lord. Okay, doesn't matter what it, it doesn't matter what you have, and the thing is that God doesn't want you to, to to be poor. God doesn't want you to be poor. God wants you to be prosperous. And if you're not prosperous, just just focus on God, put Him first in your life, and watch that change. But as you but as you as, but as you become prosperous, we can't forget why we're becoming prosperous, how we're being blessed. Who is blessing us? Who is blessing us? It all comes from God. We have to give God all the glory. You know, when uh, before I was saved, I thought I was a man. You know, I was I was successful in my career. You know, I was doing things. You know, and um, I thought I was all that. But you know, God revealed to me that I wasn't all that, and He took a lot of things away from me that I had. But He's restored me in a different place. And now I know that I am nothing without God. That I'm nobody without God. I know that he has me here for a reason. And he has you here for a reason. And if you seek him, you will find your reason for being here on this earth. For some, it's to preach. For some, it's to sing. For some, it's just to, to, to be able to sit down with one person and bring them to Christ. But God has a purpose for your life. Okay? And if you want to find that purpose, you have to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. We just celebrated his resurrection. You have to start reading your word because your word, God's word, tells us what he wants from us, how he wants us to live. When we start abiding and living by his word, then, he'll, then he will provide us with further instructions of what he wants us to do when he needs us to do it. Okay, But we have to trust in God, believe in what we're reading, and, and try, our, 
and try our very best to live the way God wants us to live. His love will sustain you. His grace and mercy will overlook your sins. And you can be a strong, you can be the strong man or woman of God that you that you are supposed to be. That's all the time that I have. God bless you and I love you.